Okay, and the recording started. So, all right, welcome everybody. Um, does anybody have any questions? Uh, as I said before, I've been trying to um, email those that uh, maybe are a little bit behind the assignments. I've individually texted a lot of you, um, and great job getting in that that work. Um, what is that for? Is that how many times that I've texted you? Is that many times? I don't know. <laughs> Can we use this class time to eat pie? Somebody said. Well, if you're, you can't give any to me, so no. Just kidding. <laughs> what kind of pie do you guys like? I'm hungry too. It's almost dinner time. I like apple pie, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is really good. I actually like banana cream pie or um, chocolate cream pie, I think, the best. Um, somebody says pecan pie. I don't know how we got on the subject of pies, but that's okay. All right. All right, if you guys don't have any questions, uh, I'm going to get going, okay? Uh so we're flying through this block, okay? You you guys are only going to have me for like uh, two more weeks, if you can believe that, before we stop um, like our live classes. Yeah, we only have like two more weeks for live classes. I'm going to show you through here. Um, just so you know, uh, right now, I guess I'm doing the little star thing. Uh, we're going to be going over 4.03, which is physical systems and processes of uh, South America and we're going to go over 4.05 people and culture of South America okay so let's go and see some places okay you should have completed everything that's in red here you should have already done okay um, yes so this class is short it's only a block class so you get a semester's worth of credit in this block okay so we end Actually, it'll tell us on the next page. I'll tell you when the, the next, the last week is. Okay. All right. So, wow. The thing on poverty, I haven't done. Okay. So, yeah, you'll want to get working on that. The poster on, on poverty. So, yeah, get, get working on that. Um, remember, you can do it through Google Docs or you can just do it through regular, you know, Word or whatever you want to do for the poster. Uh, I'll keep reminding you guys that for what you need to do. I have built in a thing. I don't understand the poverty thing. Okay. So good question. Let me have you seen the video on how to do it that I made? You can go to the my uh, site and stuff. slideshow confused you okay may I uh, maybe I'll go over should I go over that right now yeah let's go over that right now okay so gonna screen share with you now all right can you guys see my screen here Give me a green check if you can green check if you can see my screen couple of you can five at least six okay all right bunch of you can all right so if you didn't notice my website over here okay I actually changed my website a little bit um, well the first one has all the assignments and when the due dates are okay so some of you guys need the the class drive okay yeah um, they're all individualized so you have an individualized folder for you so if you would email me what it who needs it I will um, I will give that to you okay because they're all individualized okay so I have that down here if you go down here a little bit more it has this video right here how to do your projects in geography okay and so if you watch that I can let me shoot out the link to you guys real quick So you can watch that. 
and that will basically be going over what I'm doing right now okay and so that will show you how to use the drive and how to do those things okay I'm sorry my kids are in the background I may those kids uh step two your advertising pen page should be only yeah so so basically you're you're making a, a flyer or a portfolio I'm sorry guys I'm gonna have to pause this real quick and tell them to get upstairs sorry Back. sorry about that guys <laughs> teacher dad life uh, yes for sure <laughs> hopefully you didn't hear me yelling at him too bad <laughs> I try not to yell. Okay, so basically a lot of this stuff, as I said, can be found on the site. Um, I will be sending you guys, for those that need it, your individual Google folders. And let me see if I can get to that without like showing a bunch of confidential information. Don't want to do that. Let's see if this will work. You know what we're going to do today because you probably already went through it. Okay, that was last year's, this year's. All right, so I have everybody's, like, last name and folder in here, okay? So let me go to one that's actually not. Actually, all of these are filled up. Dang it. I had an example one somewhere. Just don't know where it is anyways it has basically um, all of that all of your projects like a template in there for you to do okay um, it's in that video that I, that I kind of sh showed you okay um, somebody else said they had a question real quick all right what's your question Have a question but you forgot okay somebody said geology I'll try to get some some of your guys's private comments in a second oh you forgot okay all right so I'm gonna try to get let, let's let me stop sharing this real quick hopefully you guys didn't see any too private information I'll I'll explain this more at the very end too okay about how to do the projects and that kind of stuff okay um so all, everything in red, you should be done. So we should be done through all of unit one, okay? All of unit two, all of unit three, and we're in unit four right now. And then complete uh, this week, okay? So this week we should be uh, starting on unit four and doing lessons one through four, quizzes uh, 10 and 11, okay? So somebody says, do we have a class to replace this block? Um, yeah, so all of the history and electives, so you'll probably have another elective class that will be in there for next block. So good question. And then this is what's upcoming. So we only have two more live classes. And then, of course, I'll always be there, there to help you. Somebody says 104 more days until summer vacation. Wow, I'm not counting right now. <laughs> it's too, too far away. All right, so here's the objectives that we'll be going through today, okay? Uh, we're going to be going over some geographic terms of South America. We're going to talk about the rainforest, canopies, uh, different physical systems that you will see in there. Uh, we're going to talk about the Andes Mountains and some stuff like that, okay? All right, so first what we're going to do, we are going to break up into groups, okay? Um you should have seen the flipped class already uh, introducing South America, but we're going to dive a little bit deeper into Argentina, Brazil, and Chile. Okay, so um, we're going to go to the online library again. I'm trying to get you guys familiar with this for research and stuff. Remember, the password is now changed to learning. Okay, so username is learning. You're going to go to the culture grams. Um, and some of you guys are going to do Argentina, some of you are going to do Brazil, some of you are going to do Chile, okay? So depending on what it is. So I will give you guys 
uh, the rights to be able to to write on the screen and you're going to fill in those okay so somebody said just Google you can use also a uh, uh, Google Scholar which is really good um, it actually gives you good information rather than that okay so, so uh, hold on somebody says I hate the online library okay so if you're gonna go to college and everything that's what you're gonna be using sorry to tell you that that's what you'll have to use for research but you can also use this for research as well I'm gonna type it in scholar.google.com okay that's a really good resource to be able to find that so I'm gonna break you guys out into groups real quick and then um, give you about five six minutes to write down those things and then we'll bring you back okay and we'll go over all of them so give me a second here Okay, you guys are group one, and you're going to be doing Argentina, so you can get started on that. Okay, you guys are group two. You're going to be doing Brazil, and you can start working on that. Use your tools. You should have access to those now. Okay, you guys are group three, and you're going to be doing Chile, okay? So go to Culturegrams in the online library, okay? Here's the website. People are asking what's going on, okay? Do that. Type in the username online, password learning, and then look up those four things, okay? And then write them on the board here. So that's what we're doing.
All right, everybody should be back to the main room now. Maybe somebody got stuck. Nope, nobody's stuck. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to each breakout room. Okay. Um, so you're just going to follow me to each breakout room. Uh, give me a second so I can uh, allow everybody to move through them. So if you go up by participants by your name, you should be able to now, where it says main room right there, you can all move to uh, room number one. And we're going to go over that. Okay, so move to room number one. All right, thank you guys for those that are following. Looks like you had some artwork here. Very good, using your uh, mouse skills. <laughs> um, so this one's about Argentina. Let's see what you talked about there. Uh, the land and climate, mountains, plains, rainforest, beaches, deserts, and glaciers. So just about everything, okay? Pretty cool. Okay, uh, somebody puts... Uh, we're in the millions of people in Argentina, so we're about 43.8 million. Very good. The language they speak there is Spanish. And the religion is Christianity, mostly the branch of Roman Catholicism. Okay? Very good. Okay. Um, let's jump to... Gosh... Okay, let's jump to number two, room number two. All right, room number two. Thanks for everybody jumping with me. Um, Brazil. So a couple things about Brazil. It's uh, forest covered, more than half of Brazil's territory. So this is where like the, the Amazon River runs through um, most of the rainforest in the entire world. Okay, uh, You have 200 and about 8 million people that live there. The language is Portuguese. That's the main language. And uh, Roman Catholicism is the biggest at 65%. Okay which is a branch of Christianity. Okay, let's go to breakout room number three now. Okay, it looks like somebody had some fun in uh, number three here. Why? Well, why? What do you mean, why? Because we got to do it, okay? Uh, variable. Okay, Chile is on the the coast there, so you're gonna have some beaches, um, high high mountainous areas, and we'll tell you why in a little bit as we're going through here. We have about 18 million people that live there, okay? Um, Spanish is the main li li uh, language, and then also Catholicism, okay? All right, I'm gonna bring everybody back to the main room here. So. All right. Everybody should be back to the main room now. Uh, I'll get you guys. I tried to get to as many uh, private messages as I could um, while we we're going through this. But I'll try to get to those as um, we're kind of going through, okay? Uh, so let's move on. We've got some pretty cool pictures right up here. Uh, we got a lizard kind of type of thing. It's a big iguana, right? Uh, 
So I just want to kind of show you how diverse like South America is. When you think about South America, you always think about um, like rainforest and maybe beaches, that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a Komodo dragon. Okay, very good. It is a Komodo dragon. So Komodo dragons, they, they do live in um, South America. Uh, but one thing that you don't realize, uh, you held one one time? Awesome. So other things you think about South America, you said rainforest, but it has very, very high, high areas, okay? Um, the, the Andes Mountains runs through there, and they have high, high peaks, um, glaciers, mountains. Um, somebody said the Komodo drag when they hold them, they're really heavy and fat, so I can imagine. They're kind of like iguana. I wonder if they eat them. I went to um, Honduras, and one of the biggest things, oh, they said they're, they're not poisonous. Uh, they would always catch iguanas and eat them. That was like a delicacy there. Kind of interesting. So, All right, so the reason, reason for the, the high areas are um, volcanoes. Okay, So if you look right over here, the picture to your right, uh, that which is in red is called what's called the ring of fire. Okay, you have tectonic plates that you probably learned a little bit, bit about in science class that are always like moving and shifting and that kind of stuff. And the Pacific plate that lies on here um, is where like 95% of the whole world's volcanic activity happens, as well as um, earthquakes. Uh, and, you know, tsunamis and stuff like that really all form because of this ring of fire, because of this tectonic plate and moving. So as you see right here, the ring of fire, if it comes back to us, all the way up to um, Alaska, down through California, the San Andreas Fault. I don't know if you've heard about that before. They did a whole movie on San Andreas, right? I think the rock was in it, you know, and there's this big earthquake and um, that's that's because of the ring of fire, okay? Uh, so somebody said they saw that movie. Yeah, I thought it was a decent, you know, decent for action, if you like action movies. Uh, but it goes all the way down through South America, uh, the Andes Mountains right there, and it makes big high peaks of mountains, and uh, um, some of the biggest, highest mountains in the world are, are because of that. Sana is your awesome favorite teacher. Cool. I'll have to tell her that. Okay, so some other things when you think about um, South America, you're really thinking about uh, the rainforest. Okay, so there's different parts of the rainforest. I'm going to start from the bottom, okay? Um, and you can kind of see the things that are in there. Uh, big trees, you have things like this, an andaconda. Ugh. I don't know if you've seen, like, those andaconda movies, like, that would be like the worst way to die. It's like get eaten by a snake. Oof. Scary. And then you also have a jaguar. So, yeah. Kind of like a cheetah, but it's a, it's a jaguar. Okay, so starting from the bottom, we have uh, the forest floor, which is a lot of the, the life is there um, on the, the floor. So you have insects that are found no other else place in the world. Um, as I said, anacondas, jaguars, um, this is where all the life is. Uh, then you also have what's called the understory, which is the dark, cool area. So the ground is kind of where all those, um, you know, those people live. And then you go up a little bit higher. Um, you have more shrubs, that kind of stuff. A lot of our medicines um, and plants that we found from medicines and that kind of thing have been found in the rainforest, okay? And so you have like small trees, ferns that only live in the rainforest. Then you also have your canopy, and that's this picture over here to the left right here. Uh, it basically covers the area and makes it nice and moist. They can be anywhere from 65 to 130 feet uh, tall there, okay? And it kind of covers that. And then you also have your um, emergence, which is... Uh, where you have your birds and your insects that live on the trees, okay? So somebody says you've seen taller trees. Was that in um, the redwoods where you saw those? 
in California, Northern California. 210 to 280 feet tall. Wow, that's big. That's that's some place. Yes, of course. So that's right there, um, in that area. Beautiful area if you ever get to go that there. Thanks for sharing, Tyler. Appreciate it. Pack the same thing. The spots on left. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay, let's go over now uh, people and culture of South America. Um, these are the objectives we're going to go over, uh, talking about the culture and Inca civilizations. Um, predominant uh, religions we kind of talked about. We said Roman Catholic, right? Uh, explain the profound uh, people of Argentina, okay? And they have an interesting kind of culture. Uh, and uh, the various things, and we're going to compare and contrast North, Central, and South America. And that's what will actually be on your exit ticket. So you'll want to stick around. Okay, so let's for, first talk about the, the Inca civilization. Um, so here's one of the things. They, they believed uh, really heavily in what they call the sun god. Okay, uh, And so you can see this golden this disc over here. Uh, it pictures a human face on it, uh, and this is this is what they did. So they believed in multiple gods. So somebody tell me the difference between polytheistic and monotheistic. Does anybody know? If I'm polytheistic, what does that mean? Any thoughts? means many gods. Yep, poly means many gods, and then monotheistic only means uh, one god, okay, that you believe in. And so it was kind of interesting. They had the sun god, and then they have uh, the goddess of the moon, um, who's basically a protector of married women. And then also they have the son of the sun god, um, who's also known as the solar god. And so these were their three main gods um, that, that they believed in. So kind of interesting as you're going through the modules and stuff, you'll learn a little bit more about this culture. So as we're going into more of uh, modern uh, um, South American culture, if you go down to Argentina, Argentina is very is full of cattle. Okay, that's one of the, their things they do. They raise cattle, and so they have a lot of what we would call ranchers. And so you see this guy right here to the right carrying a horse. It's kind of more like the wild, wild west back there. So they basically, uh, the conquistadors, if you've ever heard that before, that term before, it's it's uh, basically being like a cowboy is what their thing is. So they have a big culture of being a, like a cowboy over there. And a lot of it's brought over from the United States tele, um, culture of television. So they probably watch a lot of John Wayne shows. I don't know if you guys know who John Wayne is. A cowboy. I grew up watching John Wayne. Um, I'm also part of the Conquistadors. Yeah, actually John Wayne had a movie called The Conquistadors. So uh, anyways... Um, but they're, they're basically, they have these customs of, just like you'd think of the, the cowboy customs, right? Uh, I don't know if you've heard of uh, uh, cowboy poetry. Uh, they have some music, dancing. Um, their religion and c other customs are all based around this kind of cowboy culture that they have. Okay, And that's really influenced by them. Okay, so this is the very end here. Um we are going to compare now North, South, and Central America. Okay, so I don't know if you've ever seen a chart like this before. Um, so what you do is you take three circles and you kind of put them all together, and in the middle, um, it's just like a it's called a Venn diagram. Okay, so a Venn diagram, the very middle where all three intersect, which is something that all of them have in common. Where two of them intersect is what only the two have in common. And on the outside, it's where um, uh, just those have in common. So if we start with if North America, uh, you know, we have high literacy rates, which means you go to uh, 
a um, lot of schooling. Uh, people are educated. We can read. We can write. Uh, we can think deeply. Uh, we have a government um, which is capitalist, industrialized, low birth rates. Okay. Uh, some of these other ones. Uh, so Central America, they had the Maya culture. Okay, that was there. Uh, they have a lot of corrupt governments, a lot of um, poverty because of those corrupt governments, a lot of drug trafficking because of the corrupt governments. Uh, South America, uh, they have the Inca, old Inca culture. Um, they have a lot of socialist leaders, which basically means that they're unlike the United States, and a lot of the companies are owned by the government. And then you can kind of see here, uh, let's just go and talk about what what's they all have in common. Okay, so one is uh, Christianity. So all three of them are known as Christian countries, even though they're all kind of different branches. Um, religion is important overall. Uh, the decimation of, of the indigenous population. So that means the American Indians have basically died off all kind of all together okay um, so those are what are what are in common so those are some things you're gonna have to write down for your exit ticket and that leads us very into your exit ticket today so I'm gonna post that into the chat and also push it out to you and then I know you guys have been awesome on the chat today I haven't been able to get to everybody's thing so I'm gonna go back and um, uh, maybe answer some of those questions or or comments and I'll get to you guys' private stuff as well I apologize I haven't been able to get to it yet okay um, let me go to here and push out this for you I will open up the slides as well if you need that and I'm gonna stop recording